What's up guys, Saxon the Good Time Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a video that you all have been requesting for a while. Maybe not necessarily the video itself, but information. Um, you guys always ask, there's always someone in every video, multiple people usually, that are asking what mods I'm using. You know, what mod is this? What mod is that? Well, today I'm going to show you guys what mods those are. What I'm going to do guys is run through the list of mods that I'm currently using, um, starting out with the HUD itself, and then kind of talking about the ones that I consider to be very important and then kind of going into ones that maybe aren't as important but are useful and kind of the reasons why I use each one. I'm not gonna be spending any time talking about how to install them. There are tons of tutorials out there as well as um, the mods themselves will frequently have instructions on how to install them. It's fairly easy to do that. Um, if it's really, really something that you guys end up having a hard time with, I might um, do another video about basic mod installation. But other than that guys, let's get into it and let's get started. So starting out, I use um, Payday 2 BLT and Beardlib. Now, both of these mods are not really like mods in and of themselves. They basically allow you to use other mods and basically it provides a foundation on which you can build your wonderful empire of delicious mods and HUD goodness. So you need both of these mods to be able to really do anything else in this video. Um, if you download Payday 2 BLT and install it without Beardlib, then it will prompt you um, more than likely to download and install Beardlib. But both of those are available on um, Last Bullet and on um, Payday 2 mods, so I'll have links to that in the description. So once you have those two, you can get the other mods that are in this video. We'll start with Payday the Heist HUD Reborn. So this is the HUD that I use and the one that people always ask about, and it recently got a really awesome update that made it look even cooler. One of the reasons I like Payday the Heist HUD is because of how stylish and slick it looks. It displays very minimal information and it really just gives you the default HUD, but puts a fresh coat of paint on it and makes it look super stylish. This HUD does not have a bunch of other pop-ups on it that other HUDs have. Like some HUDs will tell you if um, one of your skills is triggering. Like say if Underdog is triggering, your HUD might display that that is an active effect. This HUD doesn't have that. It's very minimal, like I said. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that HUDs include that information, but it's not really something that I care a lot about. Because Petty of the Heist HUD is a very minimalist HUD, you'll need other mods to replace some of the other things that you might like about, say, Hawk's HUD or Poco HUD. So here are some of those mods that I feel like are necessary. Press to hold standalone. This one is very simple. It basically just removes the need for you to hold down F or whatever your use key is whenever you're answering a page or opening a door or doing something of that nature. It does this by switching it to a toggle function. So press once to start picking a lock, for example, and press again to stop. Nifty. Lobby Player Info, one of my favorite mods, allows you to easily see shitbag players and their cheats. Skills displayed in red are cause for alarm, and you may want to leave the heist or kick that person, unless you just want to play with a cheater. The best part of this mod is when you call people out for their shit, and they act like nothing wrong is going on. Dumbass fucks. You HUD Enemy Health and Info. This add-on will allow you to see enemy health. Whenever you hover over an enemy, point your gun at them, go boom boom towards them, you can see the current health of an enemy, their total health, and basically you can kind of see how their health gets whittled down over time as you just fire into them. It's a pretty handy mod. I like to kind of see how much health enemies have. I mean, I pretty much know about how much health they have, how many bullets it's going to take to kill them, but it's nice to kind of see it, especially on dozers, whenever you walk up and then you just start shooting into their face, just seeing the health just drain away. It's very satisfying in a weird way. Next up, we go into a section that I kind of call add-ons. Um, these are mods that aren't necessarily what I would consider vital or that really add something that I just have to have and I just if I don't have it I'm gonna be super pissed off. These are just more things that kind of improve the quality of life, make the game a little bit better. So we're gonna start off with VeloSync. Um, this is a great little mod that I stumbled upon by random one day. Payday 2 has a big problem with desync and regardless of how great your internet connection is and that of your friends, it definitely happens. Here you can see a friend of mine talking about a random cloaker that's kicking the ground and not being able to see the fact that a downed teammate is right on the ground there. There is a cloaker just sitting over here beating the floor. Oh no. Red guy's just decent. Fuck me! Yet I am able to see him thanks to VeloSync because it fixes the desync. Desync is highly noticeable when driving passenger in a car and you can see here my teammate is driving me around with zero desync, even impacting a wall at full speed. Desync can be a big problem. It can make it hard to pick up teammates because the game will think that they're somewhere else when in reality they might be down like two feet away from you, but you can't pick them up. It can make it take longer for heist to end because the game might think that one of your teammates is across the map when in reality they're right next to you. It's a pain in the ass and it's a problem in Payday 2 and this mod does a lot to help fix that. Automatic skip screen auto card pick. This one's pretty simple. It just automatically skips the heist intro screen and picks cards for you. 
You should know that your card is predetermined, so all that time you spend deciding on card 1, 2, or 3 is really just a false choice. Meth Helper, a lovely, lovely mod. Some people have issues with mods and think that they are cheaty, and this is probably the closest one I have to what I would personally call a cheat mod. This one will tell you the correct meth ingredient the moment that it is available to be added. No waiting for Bane to tell you what the ingredient is, no waiting to figure out the right one, you'll know immediately and it's 100% accurate. I actually got this one right before I did the 25 bag cook on a um, cook off for the achievement, and it's 100% accurate, it's wonderful, it saves so much time, that's kind of like the big part of this that I like the most is that it saves time, you don't have to listen to Bane. The second that you can add an ingredient, your game will pop up until you add caustic soda or add muriatic acid. You can go in there, dump it in, and then go right back to what you're doing. Next up we have, oh no, more skill sets. This one just adds more viable skill sets. There are other mods that do this, and I think there might be one that can actually download builds directly from Payday 2 skills, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but this one just happens to be the one that I use. Warning to you though, if you buy an extra slot and then load the game without having the mod enabled, then you lose that slot. So that kind of sucks. This one just adds a ton more skill slots that you can spend some of your offshore money on. I like that because I don't really have any use for my offshore money, so it's kind of nice to be able to spend it somewhere. Next up we have buy all assets. This one adds a buy all assets function to the pre-heist menu. Saves a few seconds of your life. This one's pretty much standard in all the other um, major HUD mods, so it kind of just imports it to this one here. And last but not least, we have enhanced hit markers. This mod will allow you to differentiate between six different types of hits. So you can get a non-lethal body shot, non-lethal head shot, non-lethal critical shot, a lethal body shot, a lethal head shot, and a lethal critical shot. So a very cool um, mod. Some people play without hit markers, you don't really need hit markers, but I just happen to have them there so I just think they're kind of cool and nifty. And again, it's kind of satisfying to see all the little hit markers and to see um, what hits are actually um, critical hits. Because there's no um, default way with the standard Payday 2 HUD to know when you get a critical hit. So this one kind of will show you that, oh hey, that was a critical hit. Or the reason that Dozer died two hits was because both your hits crit. It's nice to see it, definitely. So with that, guys, that is um, all of my mods that I use for Payday 2. Um, some of you guys might have some questions about that. and Go ahead and feel free to leave a comment and ask about it. Um, I think probably the big burning question that you guys might have is, um, does the game crash more because of it? Um, until the last few days, like whenever they did the um, workshop update, I've not had any issue with crashes. Like I might play like say, I don't know, 10 hours, 10 hours of payday in a week. Just throw that number out there. And in that 10 hours, I might have like two crashes or three crashes. But I've noticed since the workshop update, I've been crashing a lot more and I'm not sure if that's because of some issue with the mods or if that's an issue with the game itself just being a piece of shit like normal. I don't know. So up until like a few days ago, I would say like no problems at all. But as of a couple days ago, I've been getting a lot more crashes than what uh, has been typical, so that's been kind of weird. But yeah, overall, these um, these are a great little set of mods. It's my kind of little set that I piecemeal together. And that's part of the reason why I like Payday the Heist HUD so much, is that it's just very minimal. It gives you kind of like the basic display, kind of makes things look cool for you. And then from that point on, you can kind of put whatever you want to. Take out what you want, add what you want. With other mods, it's great. That's what I like about it. So let me know what mods you guys are using, what HUDs you're using. Um, there's a lot of other HUDs out there that are more um, inclusive than Payday the Heist HUD, like um, Hollow HUD comes to mind, and um, I think Wolf HUD, I think it's called, comes to mind. There's also um, Poco HUD and uh, Goon Mod, of course, those are two big ones. And then Hawks HUD, which is currently like severely broken, and you should not be using that if it's um, installed, you should uninstall it. So yeah, guys, that's what I use. Um, hopefully that'll answer some questions and give you guys some other mods to kind of check out and investigate. And hopefully you start using Payday the Heist HUD Reborn. I love it. I think it's cool. And maybe you will too. So that about brings us to the end of this video, guys. This is Axiom of Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. And remember to always have a good time gaming.